What's up people? This is a video to talk about using the static, public and private keywords in hacks. These keywords aren't specific to hacks, they're used in many OOP programming languages such as C Sharp, um, Java and other ones that I can't think of right now off the top of my head. Um, if you haven't seen the previous video that talks about what is hacks, please watch that first because this is a continuation of that video. A lot of these files were made in that video, um, especially this one. So please watch that and then come to this one and then it will make sense. Okay, let's get started. So if you are coming from that video, you will notice that this build hxml file is very different from the previous one. So I'm going to go through it now and say what these new lines I've added mean. So first of all, this um, first line, this dash cp stands for class path source. Now I've changed the file layout here um, to have a, an export file and a source file. And this is common convention. So the source file will contain obviously all the source files, so all the hacks files, and the export will contain all the files that have been exported from the hacks files. So as you can see, the source path will go into the source folder and get the main methods from the main class. And this JS export will export the main JS into the export folder. And um, this line is completely new. So what this will do is run a command whenever the build hxml file is run, which will basically run the node, um, run whatever it is in the JS file. So in this case, it will be hello world. Let's test that now. If I run um, hacks build.hxml, hxml, um, and then hit enter, you will see it will say hello world. Perfect. All right, let's get started. Let's create a new file inside the source folder called button hx. So I've done this before, hence the autocomplete. Hit that, I've got a new button file, and I'm gonna write package. Now what package does, it makes is it makes this file exportable. So it exports all the contents of this file. If I've got one class, if I've got 10, it will export all the classes because of this line. Um, so let me create a class called button, uh, and it's gonna have one method, which will be on click, right? And on click, that will just have a trace, um, and it will say button has been clicked, boom semicolon, they're important hacks, save, and that's this done. So now what I want to do is print the contents of here into this main hx, hx file. I'm getting my h as next, um, pronounced incorrectly, but ignore that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is import this button file into here, and then I'm going to run button.on, click, uh, yep. So if I save that, you'll notice there's an error. The error says button has no onclick field. Now it does because we've made it. And the reason that this class cannot see this method is because usually um, if a class wants a method to be run, um, the class will have to be initialized. But I do, want, I do not want to initialize this class. I just want to use the method without initializing it. So um, I'm going to make it a static class. So now this class can see this method. Sorry, make it a static method, not a static class. Um, so now I can see the method. If I see, if I look at this, um, there's a new error and it says it cannot access the private field. Um, now by default, all methods in hacks are private. To make them public, you just write the public keyword here, or it could be anywhere. I could write it here, I could write it here. Um, yeah, it'll make it public. So if I hit save, now there are no errors. Let's run the file. You'll see button has been clicked. So this trace has now been replaced. Um, sorry, this trace here is now this one and it's using these trace from here. Perfect. Now let's say if for some reason I want to actually initialize my class before I use it. Let's do it now. Let's make a variable called button. And to initialize a class in hacks, it's the same as most other ECMAScript languages, it's new, button, and oh, why did it do that? Perfect. And this is how you initialize a class, simple as. If I want to run this method, I change the button to be a lowercase one, hit save, and we've got a bunch of issues. So let's figure out what these are. First of all, the class button does not have a constructor, which you need to be able to initialize it. And um, if you can't initialize the button, then you can't access its methods. So let's change this. 
let's give it a constructor. To do that in hacks, you just make a public method and call it new, and that's it. Now, the purpose of a constructor is to pass in um, some arguments that uh, a class might need. So if I had some arguments here, they go in there and the constructor can access the classes, I mean, the arguments. But in this case, we don't have that. So it doesn't do anything. All it does is initializes the class. Um, it can be Z, that's American, but S is more British, so I'm just leaving it as S. Okay, so now we have a constructor. This error is gone. So we've got another error. What's this one say? It says, cannot access a static field. Now, because we have initialized our class, we no longer need this keyword. Now it has access to it. When I run um, the hacks file, perfect. So this is exactly what I wanted to see. Um, we still need the public keywords because we need this class to see this method. If I got rid of it, you can't see it. Um, the purpose for having a, a private keyword is so that um, if you have a class, sorry, a method that you only want to use in this class or you only want children of this class to use, um, then you make it private. But I don't want to do that in this case. I want it to be seen. So that's it. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, I'm going to use more of this sort of, um, more of these keywords going forward. So please watch this if you watch future videos um, about game development and all that stuff. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Please, as usual, like, subscribe, um, support me on Coffee if you love this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.